Okay, so uh, my parents immigrated to Niagara on the Lake directly from southern Italy, so uh, 1951, 52, and uh, so they came from a little town called Santa Femia de Aspromonte, which is in Calabria, and they had never left their town before, and, um, and so I had an uncle who was living here. They knew nothing about the country, really, other than what was written back and forth between them, um, but things were pretty dire in that part of the country at that time. So for them it was, you know, to get away and start a new life. So they uh, took a boat, came across the Atlantic, seven, eight days, whatever it took then, landed in Halifax. Uh, remember they didn't know the language at all. So uh, they would have like little name tags and uh, they, they put them on the train and so they went from Halifax uh, to Montreal and down to Toronto, and then from Toronto they took the train to Niagara Falls. Someone met them there, and they came to Niagara on Lake, and they never moved away. <laughs> so, so, but the one thing that stands out for me is even though they left a place of poverty when my parents came to Niagara on Lake, it isn't the Niagara on Lake that we all seem to know now. And my mom actually broke down and cried and said, "You know, I don't think this is any better than what we left." So. You know, here they are with no money and in, in, in a foreign place, but uh, yeah, they decided to stay here. And so, and then I was born in um, 1955 in the hospital here on um, across from the shop. Look at this, I live there all my life. Wellington, isn't it? <laughs> in a derogatory kind of way, you could say it was a really a white bread kind of town. And my parents being Italian, there was probably three, four Italian families. So, no, it, it, it wasn't easy growing up. It wasn't even easy growing up in, 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 in a public school, you know, mm -hmm. even grade school, because uh, what happens today is, you know, everyone's politically correct. I don't think people were politically correct at that time. You know, if, you, if you're an Italian, they'd call you a Daigle or a Wop. If you were Polish, they'd call you a Polak. And, you know, and it, and it just went on and on and on, but it seemed the only safe ones were if you were of English descent, <laughs> and you know that's the way it was back then, and, and now it's it's like everyone's protected in a way, and uh, yeah, it was it was it was a little bit different, you know, so it sort of hung over your head there sometimes, eh? because um, you knew that even like uh, when you went out to date someone later on, you know, you'd hear their parents sometimes, you know, you know, what is he, you know, it's like, and you know, it, I don't think change, things change, but it's probably easier today than 40, 50 years ago.